Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy in my squeaky chair. Squeak, squeak. Uh, oh, some of these are still wet, so I'll have to wait on those. But a lot of these are dry, and so I wanted to attempt to start picking out my pages for uh, my niece's journal. My, the, a baby book. We'll just call it a baby book. See? Maybe. Um, so now that I have my see that wasn't the quite the right green i did some yesterday with a bunch of greens although that one i don't like um but i used uh more of a more of this kind of green but then um my people helped me decide in the live to use this color green although every other color green is in here and it doesn't clash necessarily but i have a million pages so i probably won't need to use these um that one's the only one I have actually any orange in, but those will be tags and stuff. Um, I don't need those. Um, 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 oh. So, I made this, but I'm going to have to figure out how to, um, I knew that this is not a good idea to do this on the edge like this. I knew that I would need, um, oh, excuse my feet and knocking everything over. Um, yeah, so I may have to put a spine on, like a, something on this. To hold those down and be a better thing and I may have to do that in here although I really wanted this to be well I'll do some um gel matte medium on here to hold that down and hope for the best because it's two magazine pages that were um what's the word I want they weren't part of the same signature they were next to each other but they I mean they weren't they weren't folded in half so I had to like piecemeal them to have them next to each other like this and yes I know it's upside down but that's because I want this on the left and I'm going to cover it and then I'll have a place for her picture and her name, date of birth and stuff like that maybe if I decide to use this page. And then I'll just, I'll put something up in the corners to cover the, like a little flower or something or a vegetable or something because it's Peter Rabbit themed and whatnot. So I have, and I will have to cut some of these pages down. But I'm also going to have some attachments because this book is so big. I've cut down my 12 inch papers to 10 inches. I did that just so I could have done a little more than 10 inch, but that gave me a big enough uh, piece to get some, some of those. And if these don't stick to the magazine, I'll just, I'll just, I'm, we'll see. We'll see if, if this thing makes it into the book or not, basically is what I'm saying. Ow, I'm itchy. So thought I'd start with these that I just made and go ahead and some of them are a little bit shorter that's all right but I want to get them folded some I'll fold a little bit shorter and some a little bit this is the widest one I'll do that way the ones in the middle will have a place and then where's my other I had other pages I just pulled them out there, are they under, did I put them? Where did I put them? All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I wanted somewhere in here is B for baby. Uh, so it'll be a very, very eclectic book because it might be in another section. It might be another, oh, this is the pile I wasn't using, button. Yep, that's the pile I wasn't using. That's why, that's where all the, okay, and then, so like, this page I could attach onto this or maybe not that one but you know what I'm saying I've got these from a smash book that won't they fit this side nicely but they're not long enough to even fold so they'll attach to these 10 by 12 pieces and I've got all kinds of different pinks and everything so this is oh this one does have a right side up I'm going to use my one template. Just stick with this one template, I think, is what I'm going to do. And fold this one in just a little bit. And I'm just kind of going alternating on these ones. And figuring out my other pages, which I had some. Here we go. So these are from um, Mother's Almanac. And I thought they'd be really cute. Um, see, this one would be great next to this color. 
or even in here. And then we've got these pink story time. And they're a little bit more in that kind of an area. I don't know if I'll have two or three um, uh, signatures. That's the word I want, signatures. That's not the one I was using for a template. And I want to make sure I fold them both ways. And I will do a bone fold to them later. They're not all going to be perfectly exact. See, that's got some yellow. Although that's more of a peachy color. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll work better. Like oh, yeah. See, that pink is better against it. Oh, I'm saving that up for my... And then I have other pages, too. See, I have way more pages than I have book, probably. Oh, see, that's nice together. And those will probably be in two... These are probably... No, let's say these are three different signatures. I'll figure this out eventually. The first start, the first part was figuring out my cover, right? And then, oh, I think I was thinking either three or four signatures, and then, so if I do four signatures, then a quarter for each signature, because I would be for like basically for the first year. Oh, and there will be the at the end for the first year. That's going to be going at the end birthday cake. And I also have this cute little kitty song for a child and just children's book here so let's see let's find some more there's one of these that has some brighter yeah there we go that will be nice so I picked out some pretty pages and then they're all white on the back so I just jelly printed the back and I did ask somebody and she said you can put pictures on the paint and it will be fine. So I'm going with that as a uh, as a, as a way. And then I'm going to have uh, flips and stuff for um, pictures to go on, and you can write behind the picture or un you know it, it's going to be a lot of a lot of fun. And this pretty with the pink and yellow. Let's see. Camping, museums. Was I going to use this? I think I had this one out for some of the pictures to fuss with that, maybe. Oh, and this one maybe because her, her older sister does art, so I thought that might be a fun page. But I might just use those for fussy cut. What else do I have here? Because I have way too many pages. Say Mother's Almanac. Is that what I said the name of the book was? Christmas. Let's see. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So that will go in the third or fourth section, depending on how many sections you do. Um, I do like the yellow with that though. The yellow and the pink. Birthday parties. Well, this is like a summer one though. And I don't know about that one. Uh, oh, I think these were not the ones. I had some that I was going to use and some were just off to the side to use in a later book or to use... Oh, but this gardening one has to get used because we got Peter Rabbit in gardening, right? So I might try to have it near the beginning. But you can do that, you know. If you're just putting random pages in, they don't have to go in order. You can flip them to get them how you want. All right. Oh, yeah, that. See, that's, that's nice. Let's see. 
They won't necessarily be in this order. I'm just... Oh, I like that one for the summer time. There's just so many cute pictures in this book. Alright, I think if they're all together, they probably were not ones I was planning on using. Let's see. These... Oh, those are the ones that tore out of the book, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, okay. And then I have more of those, more of that. Oh, here are those. And then I want to have a page for all about my pets, kind of a deal. And I might just put this one in and give it pockets on the bottom so it'll be a shorter page but they can put things in the pocket I'm gonna do this one in half no I'm not and then it could just be a page about all the pets she has that first year of her life because they do have a few including ducks and I'll put a duck tag in there even All right, what else do we have here? Some of these will be attached papers. Let's see. And then these are, are pretty fragile and brittle, so I may, I'm not sure what I'll do with these. Um, it is the story of Peter Rabbit, but it is from a book from the 1800s, I think. So, I may just um, make copies because I can do that because of how old it is, I think. And then I can put it in there in order and kind of attach it to other pages. I think that's what I'll do. So that's the tale of Peter Rabbit. All right, and I think, is this one that had baby? There's bath, so they could have something like baby's first bath. That's what I thought about for that one. Of course, it's a little tall. I will cut it down at some point. And there was a gardening on there, and you know. Um, this one I thought I could decorate up fun with um, Peter Rabbit because it's just kind of. Do, I can do more colorful stuff on that one, I guess. Alright, and this one got a little wrinkled. I might iron it. We'll see. Alright, so it goes this way. Butterflies can go every which way. Hmm. Maybe I should do it this way. And then I'm thinking, because these, I don't know. There's a couple things I could do. I could put some uh, matte medium on these to make them feel smoother. But I think I could also put them through my, um, except then I'd have to have them smaller. No, I guess I can't really do that. I don't know what I'll do. I wonder if ironing them will smooth it out. It's, I mean, it's not a bad feeling. It's kind of fun. That is cardstock. Guess what? Nathan's sugars are high. Oh, I do want to do some in half, so do this one in half. There's some dark green thing on here. This was some double-sided paper, so you can see the pink back there. And then there's still pink on this side. Hold it right about there. Give or take. I just don't want to have to cut off too much when I get to it, you know what I mean? I thought this one would be cute to put in there. So I'm going to have to sew it on, though. Cut it down and sew it on. And here's the baby one. Baby. So I thought a few little Sesame Street ones might be cute in here. Even though I've also got pretty stuff. But isn't that so cute? Um, so these pages, what I'm probably going to do is... Um, let's see, if I put this page this way... I just might, you know, cut that down and to the right size 
and have this still show here some and just sew it right on there like here I could sew it here and then sew it again over here or if I wanted it to be a pocket I could sew it here and here you'll see hopefully you'll see because I'll be doing that but yeah these this is a smash book and I thought these pages were just perfect fun colors and then we have that would be a great page for babies for solid food right I don't know what else to do with those spoons <laughs> But I really, really loved those pages. And then this one will probably end up like as a decoration because she has an older sister. So I thought that'd be cute. Where are we? Oh, and oh my goodness, she's so cute. So she's probably going to get sewn onto a page too. And then I have these Webster's pages, which are also so cute. It's just, just this book's going to end up being like 10 inches thick by the time I'm done. It's ridiculous. I don't know if this page will go in or not. But whatever pages I don't use in the book, I can use for backing on tags. So, you know. No big deal. Oh, that one's still big. That one's still... F oh, and this one I was going to cut out uh, like these bits to put throughout the book. And this was supposed to just be, you know, I was just cleaning the plate. And, of course, cleaning the plate is when you always get like, some good good grungy stuff so i'm not crazy about that but i will add layers to it where are we how many more how many how, do i have more of this side or that side doesn't matter because i just did that up that okay this one is a little thicker but that's okay and it's a different color might do this one in hell oh, let's see i'm gonna save this one for tags i think is what I'm gonna do with that one. This one also I'll save for tags because those are thicker cardstock. Let's see. Any more pink I guess. Oh and this one I think I'm gonna use um just cut out the less grungy pieces on that one. Alright, where are we? I know I have more. I I've been working all morning. I know I have more. Not all morning. All whatever. For a while I've been jelly plating. Alright, so we've got this cute plaid on this side. And uh, I want I will figure out a way to incorporate this uh I don't know what color it is. I have some paint that's blueberry. That says blueberry, that's probably pretty close to that. It's a little bit of a purpley too. Alright. A lot of you will recognize this paper pad. So I think I'm going to do this one in half, more close to in half. That's where it wants to fold. That's where I'll let it fold. Same with this one. I'll do this one in half. Because either that or I'll jelly print the edges or something. Because it's just really white. So if I do it in half, I can attach something on each side. And you'll never even see that there's just white there. You know. And that is just cardstock. Alright, do I have all my painting pages done? That was all of them. Now maybe I can figure out some semblance of order. Also, I want some plain papers too, don't I? Maybe not a big wrinkle. Oh my goodness, I'm like killing myself without... Oh man, this one was supposed to go... Oh my iron is I still like this one, even if it's plain. I like just the... Uh, I didn't get in my, that's all right. Some plain papers are okay. Let's see. See, those pinks are really different. That's a problem. I mean, it's not a problem. I don't need to have it all matchy-matchy, right? Do I? I feel like I do, but I know I don't. But that pink goes pretty well with that pink. Even if this pink doesn't. Um... Uh, that I put in the other signature. What else do we have here? Maybe that. And then I don't know. I mean, this won't be. I. I. It'll take me a while to even be get to the point where I'm willing to sew this because it's gonna be a lot of figuring out the order I want things. 
I'm pretty sure. I love how Cookie Monster's drone there was a little bit pink. Got a, some pink here and there. Let's see what's inside this one. I can work with that. And I want a long one now. That can maybe work. I might turn it around this way. I like her against that dark color. I'll trim her up and sew her on there. My sewing machine is going to be busy, isn't it? I'll see. Yeah, so first I have to figure out my sew. We have January, February, March, April. She's born in April. So April, May, June. July, August, September, October. So if I do, then I can do somewhat seasons because she'll be born in spring. So there'll be at least four sections, I guess. Four signatures, maybe five, so that then there could be, you know, like they want to add a few things for the first year. Oh, that's right. I don't remember what's on the other side of some of these. Man, man. This is not as easy as I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be like, oh, boom, boom, boom. Put some pages together. Fun, fun, fun. That will be near the end now. Fun, fun, fun. Till the day is done. That doesn't have a proper bottom on it. So her dress is perfect with that. So I think I'm going to have that go with that. Oh, paper clips would be helpful, wouldn't they? Maybe that's what I'm missing. I just need some paper clips. So I can hold my pages on there to know where I want to put them. All right. So I'm not... I want that in there, but I don't think she'd want that so much for Christmas. So, what I may do with this is glue this whole page onto something else, like, well, it's going to depend on what my fourth signature is, which will probably also be, um, unless I have, should I have a signature that's just for holidays? That would be, then it wouldn't matter where, where the section is. Hmm. And then have a section for first. Doesn't have to go by timeline. It could go by, you know, like first food, uh, first holi the holidays, uh, learning things like about your body. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's just got more complicated in my head. I don't know. What do you guys think? So, we, so that means we'd start with like the baby baby area section like which is the part which is the one that had baby 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 so this might be in the first section maybe some softer colors that are softer and gentler and like stepping out would be a little bit further down the road further than sometimes and oh I like this for like you know growing baby growing and of course I like that keepsakes oh, so I think
I'm going to go in the second section. garden. I think this would be good in the second set. So we've got summertime, fun. That. That might be a good place to write about our pets. What is this one? Butterflies. Oh yeah, that's going to be the center. It's just so cute. It's just so stinking cute those babies all right and maybe the third so this is the first signature and this will be maybe the third this might be in the third signature maybe Christmas will be in the third or fourth so this was second I said right This is really pretty. I like this. Or is this the first one? Wait, what? Baby, this is the first one. So I like this for the front here. And that would work nicely with it. And that would be pretty. So let me paper clip that. I have paint all over my hands. I was going to get my lunch, but then I was like, eh, let me just go ahead and do a quick video. Well, quick. It's already not quick. All right, what's this one? So this was one. This was two, like, summery type. Where's... That's reading. signature though. Uh, that could work there. Or something in between there. So this was two. So this is one. This is two. Um... I know you're probably yelling at me saying, no, do that, do that. Hmm. Here's some of my other pages. What I'm looking for. is these let's see oh some kind of these are cute too so these will go in um this is one some kinds of wonderful so this will go in one with like i think this will go in the third one where we can write down just different kinds of things happening and going on oh here's the pages i'm looking for oh yeah that might be cute on the front of that one so this was the second signature. I might change that paper, we'll see. Might not even show. So. So that's one, two, because beside each other, ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah, so these would be on the front, but something else would be on the back. And I want to put this one in here somewhere so that it can have a place to write 
about all the wonderful things for this baby. And that's got some fun green. So like if I wanted to do a more solid color in the middle, I could. Or I could even start it and end it with that same. I don't have two of those though because I, I used up that one. Oh, I got to make sure that bird will show. Fancy that. Oh, here's some. I'm like losing them all. Okay, so that's one, two. Buckle my shoe. Let's see. Glad you could make it to this page. <laughs> that might be three. Because it's just fun. Why not? So, we've got stepping out. I think this one too was keepsakes. And... Oh, let's put this one on here. And I think we could probably yeah, it's got the green in it. Do that. I know I'm not super matchy matchy. I'm trying to to um so I don't necessarily want that. Well, where's the one? Oh, that's right, that's that one. Oh yeah, this is three. January, February, March. So three might be where I want my Christmas. So here's what I was thinking about doing. Is I could. Um. Take this, and I could glue this whole page right onto there, and it wouldn't have to be in the signature. It could just be as part of the book. Um, watch Barbara Forty and Dragonflies. The journal she just got had some stuff like that, and then that would have Christmas and Thanksgiving. I don't think she's against Halloween, but. Just in case. I don't want to offend anyone, you know. And then this is probably where her first here would probably go to. And those butterflies are cute. What's this page? I can turn that one over. Uh -huh. But I can also put something in between there. Reading. Uh, see how these flowers might have to go in the first one because that's a more spring, 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 spring. And won't they be pretty against that pink and yellow paper? Yes. Okay. Right now I'm going more for pretty because you don't have to do anything in order. That's the thing. Everything can be totally out of order. You're out of order. I'm out of order. We're all out of order. That's not quite the right pink for that, is it? Uh, let's see. Fall will be in this one, too. So Let's see about that going there or somewhere. There's about. And we may cover that. And this is about when you start talking about, you know... Where's your nose? Where's your body? You know, learning about the body, right? So that might go there. And then I also wanted lots of places for writing. So we have some kind of wonderful. And so let's see, that could go here and then on the other side is where's the I have one that says some kind of crazy but I don't know if I already put it on could be on the back of something else who knows highlights of today who knows so now that I've got a start on this book I'm kind of excited 
And that's going to go in there somewhere. Isn't that pretty? The butterflies. Delight, cheer, cheerful, enjoy. I love that. That's definitely going somewhere. Okay, so we got some kind of crazy. Which will, I'll, I may end up shortening this page. Or if I, oh yeah, if I, um, this is what I may end up doing. I may end up, uh, I might need my bone folder. Is folding this or this side, one of these sides, and making it a flip out so they can write on both sides. I just have to remember that that's what I was going to do, right? Okay, okay, those two are stuck together. and it's, I keep pulling out the same ones. Okay, whoops. That we don't want to show. Let's see. Like this kid doing the, um, I might like glue this onto here. And then I'm going to change the name, so to say her sister's are her mom's treats. And then, you know, her name with the pose. Like, I thought that was cute. So I might glue that right on to that. I mean, the kid is cute and everything, but you get the camel's lips. See the camel's lips? <laughs> I'm living against the kid. And then... This has... Oh, I was going to put this in the floor signature so it has some money in there. And I might put this on the back of here. What do I have on the front of this one? Oh yeah, that one's pretty. Alright, so that's the third. Where did I put the first two? Anybody know? Oh, here they are. So we have one, two, three. And the fourth will be in the winter. Like January, February, March time frame. But lots happening, including a first birthday. So... Let's see, let's see. I should have some more. I can't be done. I can't not have any more painted pages. How am I out of painted pages? I guess I need to make more painted pages. Or switch some out. Because I do have regular pages here too. And I have... Let's see. This, um... Might be fun to put in there. And this one is super grungy, but that's all right. Also, I can take something like that or, let's see. oh, here's one. I can use this one for now, even if I change my mind later. The words outside right now, so but um, the cake is gonna go on the back or on the front of the fifth. Well, should I do five signatures? What do you think? What are we looking at here for signatures? Is it gonna get way too thick if there's five? Oh, I've been doing this one on the outside, haven't I? There we go. That's a little bit of yellow to it. Um, oh, I've got one here, too. Ooh, I like this background for here because I could even cut this out and put it right on there. This has got the blues and the greens. So we'll put that on the back of that for sure. Or a flip out. Could do a flip out for sure. And then they could put baby's first, you know, first. I, I'm going to have to paint some more. I'm going to be adding to that. I'm not loving it. But it's all right. Did I not have one more with flowers on it or something? One more decorative pretty one. Oh, and then there's these. I haven't even done anything with these yet. These will probably be more tags and pockets, maybe. The Webster's pages. Um, am I missing anything? Well, I'm missing some 
pages to add in here, aren't I? I've used up all my pages I had. Oh my goodness. I'm sure I have more book pages and stuff to use. Oh, I'll have to go through my, um, I will go through my, my children's books. Is what I definitely will do. See if there's anything in here. Babes in Toyland. Mysteries unveiled. The internet. See, this is not a not a vintage book for sure, but it's got vintage pages and stuff. Read to your baby. All right, so I like those, but I would probably cover up this naughty kid here in the reading. I'm all about reading. Love the reading. All right, I'm going to put these in this section, I think. And I know her sister will read to her. Read to love. Still need some... Some center pages, though, huh? That's the wrong green for that particular. Might go in another section. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put this one here for now. And, you know, this one might go on the front of the next one. In fact, this might be the, thir the fifth one. Because <laughs> I'm all about changing my mind. So, where's my other? I had another flower. I could have two with the same signature, which would be fine. So, one, two, three. Here it is. Five. <laughs> and then we just need four. Oh, birthday parties will go in five. Because five is, you know, when birthday parties will happen. Hey, Bobby, bake you a cake. So how did that happen? Okay. Those in the four signature, though, still. Okay. So this will be on the front of the third, fourth signature. There'll be two of these because, you know, I've got two. So why not? If I've got two. What's for dinner? Oh, that needs to go in that third one with the spoon. One? Maybe. Yeah. The third one, right? That's the one where I figured to start eating solid foods, maybe. They tasted, heard, smelled. Playing nursery rhymes. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Alright. This will go in here somewhere. It may go sewn on the there. We'll see. Stick it there for now. So this was three. One, two, three, four, need some, oh, you know what, mm. I'll do the green on the outside and put a decoration of some sort and then that would be, oh, that's more, not right, the right pink though, is it? Eh. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Oh, I've got a couple. I'm going to put this in the last. Does the last one need more writing space? Yes, the last one needs more writing space. And I will, I have some dyed papers too so that she'll have places to write. So that's good. 
then I will have these randomly in here to which way does this go? That's kind of wrinkled. We won't, we won't do that one. It's like super wrinkled. Oh, speaking of some colored dyed pages. Is that a good color? Eh, I don't know. It's so super wrinkled. This is why I have to do like grungy things because of my all my grungy papers. So normally my stuff is even more grungy than this. have something else. I'll find a painty paper to work with this one. Let's see. Let's see here. Water games. A little young for that rainy day. Isn't that sweet? Doing the laundry outside. The mice. Feeding time. Good nutrition, blah, blah, blah. That one, two. That'll go in number three. I'm just going to the outside of it for now. Oh, she's so cute. Make sure go in the fourth one. The fifth one. Love this. This book is so, so sweet. Let's see, Jennifer, much. Anyway, that one. Never know. I might make her another book for the rest of her years. Oh, that one has a squirrel on it. And the oh, this one goes in number three. Cause that one had Christmas and fall and winter. I mean, I know I can't use all of these. So there's autumn. Seasons and holidays. One, two, three. They may end up in there. They may not. We'll see. I'll put those one with number three just in case. We'll see. Maybe I should stick um, all the feeding ones in number two because number three is like super, super full now at the beach. Seasons and holidays. Yeah, I may end up changing things around, but you'll see when I do. When I'm just I think after this session, I will probably um, do some. Put the garden in here. Do some sewing, and then I will bring you back when I do a lot of my um. Uh, what's the word I want? Oh, adding pictures and stuff and de decorating. Decorating, that's the word I want. Oh my I might have to have a whole signature just about food because that's how I roll, apparently. And I'm going to need more pages. Like, this, this might end up being. A signature too. Maybe in the middle. If I do one, two, if I do five, like I said, I probably need to do this one as the seasons and holidays. Maybe autumn, dancing leaves, and then we have feeding time and tasting and blah 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 and about your body and what's for dinner. And fall, keepsakes, that'd be like feeding time. And butterflies might go somewhere else too. Alright, and this I might actually move to the fifth signature. When she starts figuring out things that she likes. Um, or in the first I don't know where it will end up so I think this will be one on seasons and holidays which won't necessarily be the cover of it I'll have something or it might I don't know that might be the last to see I don't know they're going to be something they're She'll, she'll have to figure it out after this 
of why I was thinking about doing a three ring binder, but that that doesn't seem to be happening. So, so I might see this has some of the other different. Oh, I wonder where the other one of that is. That's what I need. So, if this is the first signature, and then this is the first. page after that. So that would be the first signature. So then this could be the second, which is kind of a summary or, you know, just more flowers and gardening and butterflies and all that jazz. And And then this one more about like experiences, maybe. Like baths and learning and all the things. I don't know. We got feeding time there, but it's not just feeding time either. So the pets ahead, it's baby, blah blah blah. Maybe the pets one will go in. Kind of like an all about me kind of, I just want, I want one that's like, that has like all about, all about, all about me, I don't know, something like that. If you guys have any suggestions, I am so open to some suggestions. So very much. What I might do is add that like there so that all the, it can all be in one thing. All right. Oh, so overwhelming, right? So seasons and holidays, kind of a first kind of a thing. This one is baby. This one is like, I have arrived, I think. This one is like the first year. I mean, the, you know, the birthday and beyond. Few, you know, till they get another book for her, I guess. All right. What do we have still? Oh, the reading. Let's see. Babies. Oh, how did the birthday party get in here? Oh, because it's this cute summer picture. But it actually can still go in that last one because... We'll be back almost this summer by then. All right. So this is going to go in here. And I might need to do a couple more pages like this so that the signatures can be a little bit more similar. Or I might even cut this so that I don't have to um, worry about this because I can just sew it onto another page. I don't know. It, they're not sticking to this magazine though, so... These may end up a different way. One thing I was thinking of, or just thought of, was maybe, um, like do a few in a corner coming up or something like that. Of course, they probably won't stick to that paint either. So, there's that. We'll see. I mean, this was a cute idea, but, I mean, I'll try, I'll, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'll try some, oh, all about baby. I'll try some gel matte medium. Preserving memories. We'll go in the second one. I don't need that. That's not helpful. Well, just to break up our eye, I might use some of these. Um, some of these parchment paper ones and stuff like that. And I've got that paper, plain paper. Might do some more plain paper and stuff just to break up our eyes. And we need to not lose those. Uh, 
Evolving Spawns. I could go by some of these chapters. We'll see. Alright, and then, oh, this could go in this first section here, this stork. Probably date and place. Let me stick that one in here somewhere too. And then there's the butterflies too. And I will probably just use these on tags here and there or um, just stick them in here and there in small bits. Just small bits. Place. That with the then we have a playtime one. This one having fun. Put that one in there. Oh, oh yeah, got this too. That goes in the third one. I'll figure this out. You guys are gonna help me though, right? Then, um, this is from an 1800s book. Early, late 1800s, early 1900s. And it's got the little gardening thing. So I'm going to make a copy of that. It was Beside the Garden Gate. I can't remember the year, but I know it was. I know it's old enough that I can make copies. That much I know. Oh, I was thinking about sticking some of this in there too. Because I want some pretty. These all go this way. But I might, I might just use them when I'm making tags and stuff. Or in clusters and stuff like that. Because yes, I know it's a baby book. But I would like it to also be pretty. Because <laughs> when she looks at her baby book, she's not going to be a baby anymore. You know what I mean? So, there's that. Alright, well I have a start. to, um, And then I'll, once I have my pages, then I'll figure out my um ouch spine oh i just cut myself that's fun so it is definitely going to be thick and that's before she puts pictures and stuff wow that um <laughs> this spine is really only like this big but look it like stretches it stretches with me <laughs> kind of sort of so and i did get some stuff on the cover of course i did but that's okay i'm gonna put something over this because we don't need the federal supply service number. Um, the record wouldn't be bad to show. And I'm, I may leave a place for her picture. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll put something on there. And then the back's still not too bad. A little scratched up, but not bad. I mean, I, I, oh, I may. They've called her a turnip since they found out about her. So a turnip may end up going on the front. So we'll see. So... I don't know. I don't know how much I've I've got. Um, yeah, my my desk is a huge mess. I realize that. Dear baby of mine, me and my family. Oh, that might go in the first section. Once a year rituals. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Scrapbooking, organizing by theme. I'm not organized. I don't know what I'm doing. Putting a this will go in the last signature. <laughs> Maybe. Or just its own little attach it somewhere. Growing into clothes, holiday keepsakes. Yeah, these once a year rituals, I guess we'll put at the end. Alright, if we put them in there. Oh my goodness. I still feel like I need. I don't know what I need. Alright, where my other all right, so how, I never asked how you guys are doing. <laughs> I'm so rude. How is everybody? If you're still here, how are you doing? Um, I hope you're doing well. Uh, what are you working on right now? I mean, obviously, you know, I'm working on this baby book. And, oh, there's another page I can use in here. Yay! That will go in there somewhere. So yeah, I've been having fun with the... Once I cut this one down, this one can go in there somewhere too. It'll go... Oh, 
probably something like that. Maybe. Ooh, maybe that could be on the top, right? That, that will likely go in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, I would love any suggestions or helps or anything like that. It would be so super helpful. This is going to go in there somewhere. Sweetest flowers. Please give to me the sweetest flowers. I want the violets. Blue violet. I will I have apples and oranges? Who wants... Anyway, it's cute. All right. You all have a delightful day. Oh, my goodness. How did I go so long just going through papers? I hope you watched me at double time. Press the three little dots at the top right-hand corner, and it is a drop-down menu. And then it's where it says normal uh, speed option. You can go slower or faster. So if I go too fast, you can slow me down, and I'll sound like this. Or you can speed me up to double time, and then I'll sound like this. Have a delightful day, everybody. Love you.